Well, hello again, Internet. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, it's cold out there. I'm not going for no ride. You know, I know there's Richie Rides up in Ontario. He rides in that white stuff that gets all over the ground all the time. I'm not even going out when it's cold. But what we are going to do today is we're going to show you the app that we use to edit our films. So it's all going to start right here with a program called Filmforth. And we are going to start a new project, add video to it. Now I have already uh, put what I needed, the clips that I need. I'm going to create a new an intro. Okay, and so I've already put the clips that I need into a certain folder. And we're just going to go ahead and we'll come right up to about here. This is where I decide I want to start the clip. So we're going to split that video. We're going to get rid of the beginning. And so we're going to run this here. Uh, I think first or second generation. And you can see uh, we've got I'm talking in this clip. But I don't want the talking going on, but I do like the video itself on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the volume of this clip and we're going to cut it down to zero. There we go. Now, there's no sound. But we want to add some sound. You can see I'm running over leaves and everything here. And so we're going to add another clip to this. And what we're going to add is this clip right here. Now, you can certainly hear, I will, I will tell you, when I shot this clip, I was using the Wind Slayer on top of the GoPro. I wasn't using any of the mics that I use now. And so... It, it does pick up more road noise, so we're going to use that to our advantage here. So, I'm talking right here. Don't want that. Aha! There we've stopped talking. So, we're going to split it right there. And we need about 10 or 12 seconds of good footage, here, or of good audio here. So, we're going from 324... And we're just going to run this through. And it appears like we would have... It looks like we've got plenty of sound there. So what we're going to do is we are going to... Now we're highlighted this clip right here that we're dealing with. We're going to detach the audio. Here's my audio down here. I am just going to take this audio, put it right to the beginning of my clip. Now I can just go through here. I can get rid of the rest of this. Don't need any more of this. There we go. And so now what I've got is my video from one clip and the audio from another clip. And we're running that right to about, oh, we'll go right to about that area right there. That's about 16 seconds. We're still going to trim it down further than that. We're going to get rid of the rest of that. That was all pretty good uh, video right there. We're going to split that. And we are going to get rid of that audio. Now let's blow this up here a little bit so it's a little easier to work with. And now what we're going to do is we are going to add some text to this. So we're going to come in just a second, it's a quarter of a second here. We're going to add some text. So we're going to click the edit. And we are going to put the text of Southern...
e-biking. Hard to see the keyboard because I've got the GoPro camera there. But we're going to blow that up to about the size that we want here. And we are going to use the type of font that we want. I use the Lucinda calligraphy quite a bit in there. And let's go ahead and change the color of that. We're going to make that a nice bright yellow. And we will put a drop shadow in it. And we're going to surround this with red. And maybe at about 10 points right there. Let's do that. That oh wait a minute. Let's go back and edit this a little bit more. Uh, Southern. How about we make that Southern e-biking? There we go. And that looks centered up pretty good. I like that, but I tell you, we might even go. Just to put that red and yellow in there, we might even go to 15 on that and see what that does. Now, I'm going to stick with the 10. There we go. All right. Now, let's go ahead and animate this a little bit. And what we will do is, oh, we'll let this come straight across. Basically printing it out. And we're going to print it out over two seconds. There we go. And when we exit that, let's go ahead and zoom it out. There we go. And let's make this a little bit longer. We're going to bring it up to right about 4.7 seconds. And let's see. What we catch here on that. We'll try the animating this again, the exit. We are going to zoom it out and we're going to zoom it out over about 1.5 seconds. That looks a little better. Now we're going to come in here and we're going to add text again. And the text we will add this time, let's go ahead and edit it. Very difficult to see that keyboard like that. <laughs> but let's go ahead and go back. Now, what we want to do here is we want to line these two up. And so let's look at them together here. We're going to take this. It should already be the same font and whatnot, which it is. And we're going to overlap them. Now we can go ahead and come out. And let's see what we get here. We, as we zoom that out, we're going to bring this one, we're going to overlap a little bit, and we're going to animate this one, and we're going to zoom it in. And we're going to zoom it in over, we'll go one and a half seconds again, and we'll try that. And so let's see what we end up with here on that little transition. Whoops. I actually needed to do the entrance to zoom in. I did the exit on that. Uh, let's see, where's my, yep, zoom in. And one and a half seconds. Let's go back and take a look at that. Now it's set to zoom out and I don't want it to do that. But let's just take a look at the whole thing here. Southern e-biking. Like and subscribe. I like that. Now, I think what I would prefer for the exit on here is instead of to zoom out, let's fade out. And let's fade out over two seconds. There we go. And let's run this. It's at... There we go. That's right at a 10.22 second clip. And so let's see what we got now. I 
like it, but I'm not crazy about the transition. And I think what we're going to want to do is we are going to put that transition a little further apart. So there it goes out. Here comes a new one in. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and cut this down to... There we go. Let's split that. We are right at 10.04 seconds. Now we need some music. So let's go ahead and go back to our up. This audio here, we are going to split that and we will get rid of this piece. Now we're going to add some audio. And I do like the music that I had selected for the intro. So let's kind of see where the timing is on this. Pretty good. I, I like it just the way it is. So let's split that. We're going to take this piece and we're going to delete it. Now, the only thing that I'd like to do a little differently is this audio. The road noise is a little bit loud. So we're going to take it and we're going to cut it down to 50%. And let's see what we got here. And congratulations, you guys are the first to see the new intro. So we're going to save this. Now, I'm going to save this all the way up at a 4K because it's going to get depleted down further. We'll save this at the best quality that we possibly can. And we're going to call this, let's see, we're going to YouTube intro. So we're going to call this the... newest intro and we're going to go ahead and save it and we're going to close this out let's take a look at our youtube intro and our newest intro and that is our newest intro now, if we want to actually use this intro, let's go in and put this intro into a clip. And I'll show you a little bit about how the uh, Film Firth app, some other things that you can do with it. And we're just going to go through this kind of quick like, but we're going to start a new project. And I'll go in and delete a lot of these projects that are <coughs> not being used. But we've got a new project. We're going to add a video. And I think what we will do is I've got a video here. I, it's just labeled as the driveway. And what this is, is I was uh, remounting a GoPro onto my handlebar and I wanted to see how well it would bounce. And so this is the clip that I used. So let's say this was a clip that I was going to go ahead and publish. And so I want to let the beginning do some talking here. And we're just recording this right here just to see if we're getting any kind of movement on the camera. And I'd like to go ahead and put my entrance in, or my intro in right there. So I'm going to split that. I'm going to add a video clip, and I'm going to go to my YouTube intro, my newest intro, add it in there. And what they're doing is making it a little smaller because I saved that at 4K so that it would be a very high quality coming into this. Now, at this point, we are going to work on our transitions. So our transition into it, I'm just going to circle it in on this. We're going to go to 1.8 seconds. And then when we come out 
of the intro, I'm just going to go ahead and blur it. That's what I typically use for most of my uh, most of the times that I do this, and we'll have it about one and a half seconds or so. And that's what we're going to have. So let's take a look at this. We'll blow it up to where hopefully you got a little bit of a chance to see it. And so this is what we're doing with transitions. Right here. Just to see if we're getting any kind of movement on the camera. See, we circled in real nice, come into our intro. And we get a blur. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty easy for an old cowboy to figure it out. But I am going to show you some other things kind of quick that this app can do. So you can certainly can trim it down. You can take any section that you've got here and you can work on the speed of it. Uh, you can slow it down by 25 per, or down to 25% or take it four times faster. Of course, your volume I've already shown you and you can detach the audio. I've shown you that. You can also do a voiceover directly in this app. You can use different effects on here that basically just you know, turns it to black and white and that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and come out of that. Uh, you can crop your... You can crop it anywhere that you wish on any section. And you can cut this into as many sections as you want. You can add motion into it. You can also, of course, rotate it. That's pretty common. You can freeze frame on a particular section of it or flip it around to basically put, put a mere image of it in there. Or you can duplicate it in any section. So that comes in kind of handy with the music as well. You can duplicate that you know, music and just keep it rolling straight through if you've got some background music going. Uh, and then when you go to save these, well, you've got your choice here of your resolution. Typically it's set up at 720 standard, 30 frames per second. Typically, I'm going to use 1080 in standard, 30 frames per second. But for something like this clip that I'm going to put into another video, I just go all the way up to 4K with it. And uh, you've got more settings here, you know, that you can you can really get into, you know, your bit rates and all of that. And to be honest, I'm just not smart enough to figure all that out. So, But then you just go ahead and click it, you know, to export the video and save it. And with the with a paid app on here, there's no watermarks. If you use the free app, you can do all of these things. Everything is available. However, it will have a watermark down in the corner uh, when you do your video. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube with watermarks on them, so that's not really a crime. But we got it a pretty good deal, so we went ahead and, and took it. So that's going to wrap it up for... Uh, well, we didn't talk. The one other thing we could do is we can add a picture in picture here. And I'm not going to get into that because, boy, now we're going to make the video really long. But I think you've seen enough of this app that if it's something that's interesting to you, well, you can certainly ask me more and I'll share more with you. Or go ahead and check it out. And it should be on the Google Play Store. I believe it is available in the, uh, in the Apple, Sto Apple Store as well. And take a look at it for yourself and see if maybe that's something that would work for you. I can tell you, if this old cowboy can figure it out, any of you guys out there are plenty good enough. You'll have this thing figured out and rocking and rolling it in no time at all. So, like I say, congratulations. You guys are the first to see our new intro. And until we throw it into our very first clip, hey, stay safe, God bless, and keep the wheels turning. Once again, Internet, we're out.